What is going on guys? Penzik here with Reaper Gaming and last week I stumbled upon an application that I found intriguing. Um, as you guys know, I picked up one of these cheapy, I think it was like $25, $30 virtual reality headsets um, that you throw your phone. Nothing special, just to try it out. I didn't want to spend a ton on the, uh, like the PS4 VR set or the Oculus Rift. I didn't want to be six to eight hundred dollars into something I wasn't gonna use or I didn't like so I figure why not grab one of the cheap housings throw my, throw my phone into it and just test it um, and so with that I started doing a little more research and I found this program here let's get this opened up this is the VR Ridge Rift Cat and this is this is the program itself now what this program does is it it sends a VR game image over the Wi-Fi network in your house to your cell phone to your cell phone um so you can throw your cell phone into one of these housings and play vr games and as you can see it has the steam vr game the oculus rift support and it has rift cat's own normal games now i'm on a trial version i started trying this out it wasn't too bad i didn't have any complaints i just downloaded a new game here um a couple minutes ago that we can try out but when when you go to the the full full game itself uh or the full program itself it's only 20 bucks for retail and only 15 if you get early access um and the system requirements aren't really that high you know uh an i5 2500 or greater only four gig of ram 650 um nvidia gtx 650 or an amd 7750 so these are well beyond last gen stuff um the newer stuff you know they 290 or greater 970 if you really want to push it you, you're gonna want a little bit of a higher end setup it's not too bad um, but from what I have seen so far um, if you are in the market just to kind of test to see if you're gonna want one this is a perfect thing to to try and do um, so let's close that out let's let's just go let's go ahead now I've already got my phone connected I have the uh, one plus one so and, and keep in mind, let me clean the screen off here. Keep in mind that the quality of your games are going to be based off of your computer and off of your phone itself. So on the phone, that little, let's see if I can get it there, that little triangle symbol app. Uh, so right here, we're going to open that up. I just synced it. Your phone, please press start. So here's, here's my phone. Um, my phone is synced ready to go so let's go play a rift cat game so they've got their own series of games just little demos nothing special let's go see i just did this one so let's let's do this one let's get this pulled up let's play so what's going to happen is we're going to hit play the little demo thing's going to pop up we're going to allow access so this is let's go find it i gotta look around so here is as you can see that's how it pulls up on the screen um here is how it looks You're, it's going to be kind of hard but it does pop up so let me throw this in the housing here give me one second we'll get this thrown in the housing Boom. Shaboom. We'll get the housing thrown on. And we'll, we'll get, we'll see how well this actually does. Now, I don't think I have this set for me because the kids were playing with it. Let me adjust it real quick. I'm sorry, guys. Let's get that adjusted. So far, the kids have loved this thing. So, uh, money well spent on this setup. So, let me get it on me. And then I'll adjust everything real quick. So Edge space to crouch. Alright, so I need to center my screen. Let me pull this off so I can see. center it there's a button to center it 
me exit real quick. Now that I got it centered, I need to hold space to crouch. I'm gonna find my keys. There we go. So we're gonna crouch. That way, which way, which way are we going? As you can see, as I move my head, um, you know, it definitely, it, it moves with it. Alright, so, touch light, you need to switch on. We got a little flashlight there, is that a battery bar? Obviously, that's a battery bar. Pick up battery to recharge your touch light, so. to pick up. I have to open the door. And, and obviously, you know, the, um, help you out in case you're out of batteries. Press a... based off the game. I know I had the Resident Evil 7 demo here. Um, download it, and I was using that for last week. I did get rid of it because, you know, it was a demo. This is very awkward to get used to because, you know, when you're used to playing games, you use the mouse to move, etc. Um, you know, that I've, it's definitely hard to get used to right off. So what's this? That's interact again. We picked up something. I don't know what it was. But this gets you an idea of a budget on, you know, if you didn't have a ton of money, and you want it to get VR, or at least try some of the higher end games, this definitely gives you that feeling there. Um, and like I said, it's all going to be based off of, you know, how well your phone is, how you can set it. you got to get it all set up too. I just kind of set it and forgot it. Um, Let's see what the enemy does. Let's, we're gonna go. I think it's an enemy. Let's go straight for it. 
killed me um, and as you can see I'm running roughly 56 frames per second here uh, overall oh, that's so much better you got to adjust it for yourself too um, so overall it gives you a great idea of what you should expect um, mine was not that bright in there mine uh, mine was dim I think I have my uh, phone set to a dimmer screen. Let's see, let me pop the phone out. Stats. So mine wasn't showing that, and I didn't have it centered all the way. So that gives you a um, basic idea. Of, you know, if you already got a decent phone, uh, and you want it to... Let's see if I can pop out of it. There we go. So we're going to close. If maybe, let's see. Close. So runtime ending. Um, and this is just their cheap library too. They have they have some odd stuff in here that you can just mess around, see what it's like. But this does give you that ability to go through. I know I've seen. Um, and this is how you would connect. You'd pick your internet, um, your Ethernet network, your wireless network. I, I seen uh, the forums for the VR Ridge. You can use the PlayStation 3i and the motion controllers as well. Um, they do have support and setup instructions on there for that. So let's go. Let's see. So I'm connected there. It's going to make me connect my phone. So let's do that. We'll pull up the thing again. Where's it at? There we go. So you can install Steam VR um, if you have an Oculus Rift game. It's set up to run an Oculus Rift game. Let's let's go. I'll install the Steam VR. I'm not gonna do. I won't try it right now. Let's go pull it up. Three, two minutes and forty-three seconds. Um, I'll mess with it more. I'll I'll see how what how well it actually works. But uh, just a quick peek, guys. This may be something that um, comes in very, very handy. So here's the support page. Let's get the support page pulled up. So their support page is very, very well done. Um, so you can play obsolete Oculus Rift. There's a support there. PS Move controller, free Pi Bridge, and VR Ridge. How to assign Rift Cat, recenter hotkeys to PS Move controller. Um, there's a section for the Connect, Leap Motion, specific games, Elite Dangerous, Minecraft, War Thunder, Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, so there looks like they are starting to come up with a lot of things. And there's videos on how to set up everything. So let's go optimizing. There's a video um, on how to set it up with the controllers and everything. How to set up all the settings for the VR Ridge based off of your phone. And it's all going to be based off your phone and what you can see too. So you're going to do it off of your phone. Um, but as you can see, they have multiple videos. Multiple instructions. Uh, and it makes it nice, but this could be that budget-oriented, budget option. That if you don't want to spend a huge chunk of money, um, like I didn't, this seems like it could be the way to go. You figure you are... I've seen some of these headsets as low as like 10, 15 bucks uh, on sale, no issue. And then you already have your, if you already have your phone that's compatible and it will work with it, great. Um, and then if you get the app on the uh, pre-release, basically, it's, it's, it's 15 bucks. So you could be $30 into playing VR games on your PC if you're not running a you don't want to run that high-end budget that this could be the perfect way to go um, I'm gonna mess with it more if you guys have any questions or anything uh, any concerns on it or just want more info or if you've messed with this yourself 
and have any tips on how to make it even better for myself or anybody else, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them the best I can. Um, I will leave a link to the VR Ridge site on and down in the comment section. And if this guy, if this helped you out, guys, if this, you know, any value at all, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. And if you could hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, guys.